Hello, this is Will Suter from Mazo Nano. We're here with Chris from Brooker, and he's going to tell us about the Multimode 8 AFM. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, Bruker's Imaging Mode Peak Force Tapping, uh, the way that that works, and some of the benefits of that, uh, and the extra information that we can get out on the far side. So, for those of you familiar with normal tapping mode, where you operate at resonant frequency, you resonate the cantilever and set your set point based on either the amplitude, phase or frequency of that oscillation. We've moved away from that now to non-resonant dynamics, where we do, instead of oscillating the cantilever resonance, 2,000 force curves per second. Uh, this has the benefit of giving us better tip lifetime because we directly control the tip-sample interaction, uh, protect softer samples and also extract some more data like mechanical properties. So that the way the imaging mode itself actually looks, uh, the system's now running on a polystyrene low density polyethylene blend and what we see here is the heartbeat or the, the base of the system which are essentially all of these force curves as I said in this case 2000 per second so we say the blue which is the approach curve and the red which is the retract curve and directly from this we can extract things like modulus, adhesion, deformation and dissipation in real time and if I minimize this this is what you see behind. So in this channel you have the topography or the height image, here we've got the error signal, and at the bottom again in real time with the same resolution we're getting the modulus um, from the calib calibrated with the cantilevers and also the adhesion channel. And we can very easily distinguish between the two different polymers and their different mechanical properties in real time. So that's one of the advantages of this peak force tapping. Uh, the second one is now the cantilever dynamics are a little bit similar, so it allows us to move to something called scan assist. So from a user point of view, this is great because it can mean you can do things like zoom in, zoom out, change the speed, uh, and the pro in real time, the system will update, update the gains and the set points, uh, the scan rate and the Z limit in order to track the surface for you. So it makes the user experience a little bit easier for those people who aren't used to AFM to be able to take great quality data uh, from the go. Okay, uh, and then uh, finally a quick thing to say on this is on the back of Scan Assist, we also launched a product called Scan Assist HR. Whereas now, instead of oscillating the scanner up and down at uh, this two kilohertz, we move the drive into the uh, cantilever holder, and with the piezo stack, we move up and down at eight kilohertz. And what this allows us to do is image a little bit faster, somewhere between four and six times faster, with the same resolution on your multi-mode system, um, to do survey scans, to get fast topography, and to generally improve the AFM experience. So the way that we access that is pretty simple. We can go, this button switches between scanner excitation and cantilever head excitation. We switch to the 8 kHz drive. Scan assist self-optimizes at this new at this new frequency. And this allows us then to increase the frequency, for example, 2 to 6 Hz and start to scan significantly quicker to get these topographic images. So now you have your same multi-mode, your same great quality topographic data, but a lot faster. So there with, with Scan Assist, with Peak Force Q&M and with Scan Assist HR you see some of the benefits of Peak Force Tapping.